Good evening. Breaking news news headlines November 29, 2021. International news. World Health Organization says Omicron coronavirus variant pose a very high global risk of infection surges that could have severe consequences. It also said that uncertainties remain about how contagious and dangerous the strain is. Reports Reuters. A 39-year-old North Korean man, known by his Chinese name Zhu Xianjian, has been recaptured after evading the police for 40 days, following a bold escape from a Chinese prison. He had crossed a river separating North Korea from China in 2013 and raided several houses in a nearby village, stealing money, mobile phones and clothes. He was sentenced to prison in the city of Jilin after fleeing to China from North Korea. Virgil Abloh, the Louis Vuitton artistic director and founder of the off-white fashion label, has died from cancer aged 41. Australia pauses the reopening of its borders because of the Omicron variant until December 15. Reports BBC. Honduran opposition leader Xiomara Castro declared victory in Sunday's presidential election. This would put the left back in power for the first time since her husband was ousted in a coup 12 years ago. Iran and world powers will meet in Vienna today to try to salvage their 2015 nuclear deal. Hopes of a breakthrough appear slim. Singapore, Malaysia reopened one of the world's busiest land borders amid worries over the Omicron variant, allowing vaccinated travelers to cross after nearly two years of being shut due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Britain's Prince Charles flew to Barbados as the Caribbean nation prepared for a celebration today marking the founding of a republic and the removal of the Queen as sovereign, cutting imperial ties some 400 years after English ships first arrived. Reports Reuters. US-based biotech company Moderna says shot for Omicron variant could be ready in early 2022. Reports DD News. National News. The Parliament has passed the Farm Laws Repeal Bill 2021 with the Lok Sava and the Rajya Sava approving it today. On the first day of the winter session, the bill seeking to withdraw the three farm laws was moved in Lok Sava by Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar, amid ruckus by the opposition in the House. The government plans to get it signed by the president by tonight. Opposition leaders objected to the lack of discussion in the Lok Sava. Reports DD News and NDTV. Twelve Rajya Sava MPs suspended for the rest of the winter session foreign discipline. This includes six from Congress, two each from TMC and Shiv Sena, and one each from CPM and CPI. Government of India has revised the international travel guidelines. It will come into effect from December 1st. It is mandated to have COVID testing, RT-PCR test, for travelers from countries at risk post-arrival. High-risk countries include those in Europe, including the United Kingdom, South Africa, Brazil, Bangladesh, Botswana, China, Mauritius, New Zealand, Zimbabwe, Singapore, Hong Kong and Israel. 5% of travelers coming from countries that are not in the at-risk category will also be tested on a random basis at airports for COVID-19. Reports Times of India, New Indian Express and NDTV. No proposal to recognize Bitcoin as a currency in India, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitarman. Reports Indian Express. Net direct tax revenue rises 68% to 6.92 rupees lakh crore till November 23 report from a written reply in the Lok Sava. Reports New Indian Express. Lok Sava Speaker O.M. Birla today addressed probationary officers of Indian Railway Service of the 2018 and 2019 batches at the Parliament House Complex. Reports DD News. Tamil Nadu News. PM Modi lauds Palmyra Plantation Drive to prevent erosion of islands in Gulf of Manor Marine Biosphere Reserve between Rameshwaram and Kanyakumari in Tamil Nadu. 21 islands of the Gulf of Manor region have underwent changes on the morphological and geological fronts over the past 50 years due to a man-made disaster through removal of coral reefs and destructive fishing methods, with vigorous climate change adding fuel to the fire. Two islands Vilangachali spread over 2.81 hectares and Puvrasanpati 4.69 hectares had been fully submerged by around 2017. Besides, 15 other islands have reduced in size. Palmyra trees can withstand storm and cyclones, besides preventing soil erosion. Earthquake of magnitude 3.6 recorded near Valor in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu's COVID vaccination coverage crosses 7 crore mark. Reports New Indian Express. Weather news. According to IMD, during December 1st to 3rd, there will be intense rainfall activity over Gujarat and adjoining North Konkan and Madhya Maharashtra. A low pressure area is likely to form over South Andaman Sea around November 30th. Decrease in rainfall activity over Tamil Nadu from November 30th, 2021. Thank you. Please subscribe free to iIntelligence iNews to get more videos on important news. Also, like and share if you find our videos really updating, useful, and informative. Please provide your valuable feedbacks through your comments. We will reply to your comments. Thank you again, and see you in the next news update. Until then, bye.